Hello and welcome to this uh, quick video today about a very cool feature we uh, just added into Fork2, which is the detail mapping. Mapping, sorry. So let's dive in. Okay, here is a scene, not a beautiful one. It's a developer scene. Uh, Patrick, our artist, will be probably mad, mad at me when he's gonna see it, but at least he's gonna help me present the feature to you. So here I have a, um, a scene with three meshes, and all of them are uh, mapped using a uh, PBR material. Okay, so if you look here, that's the PBR material that's gonna be used. We are setting up some parameters, but nothing really fancy. It's just a regular material with a uh, diffused, an albedo texture, a diffuse texture on it. Okay. The technique we are um, about to talk today is named detail mapping. And the goal of detail mapping is to actually add detail. Furthermore, if you look here, mo probably mostly on the ground, you're going to see that the texture is not that detailed. So there is one step we can uh, play with, which is the bump texture. By playing with the bump, we're going to actually perturb the normal on the faces, and we're going to introduce a bit of a volume, a fake volume, but still a bit of volume. So from the um, user standpoint, when you look at this scene, you feel like there are there is a volume here, like that we see hole and slopes and stuff like that, because the the, the uh, bump texture, the normal map, if you prefer, is uh, playing with the normals. And so we are adding a little bit of uh, detail, right? So that's pretty cool so far, but we can go further than that. With the new feature we added in Fort 2 you can add detail mapping. And so detail mapping will actually use a additional texture to add localized detail to your uh, rendering. So let's turn on now the detail mapping. And as you can see here, you can see that there are changes simultaneously on the diffuse uh, map, but also on the normal map here. See, if I look at, uh, for instance, the ground, you see that we feel that there are cracks now that were not uh, present before. If I turn off the um, detail mapping, you can see here the previous version and now the new one. So we have more detail, okay? And this detail can be um, controlled using several uh, parameters. For instance, here I'm going to change the scaling, like the UV scaling of my detail map only. And you can see that I am moving the details on my scene. And then I can also play with the diffuse uh, blending, like how much we get diffuse from the detail map and how much we get from the original diffuse texture, okay? So we can add no detail at all to the diffuse or a lot of detail up to a point where it just looks crap. Maybe we want to simulate some kind of a grid, but it's okay. Same for the bump. We can change the importance of the bump mapping coming from the detail map, okay? And also for PBR, we also can have so diffuse, normal, and roughness. We can change the roughness, like the way the system will shine. It's a little bit subtle and you have to play with it. But look here on the sphere, for instance, you're going to see that we are increasing the level of specular, if you prefer, by changing that roughness level, OK? Specular a lot and less specular because we are we are getting more rough, depending on the detail texture. Because obviously, the PBR itself provides its own uh, roughness information, but we are adding to it. So from the code standpoint, it's that simple. You create a detail map, OK? Turn it on with is enable equal true, equal true. You set the texture, and then you can play with its UV uh, like any uh, other um, texture. And you also have uh, some information like the diffuse blend level or the bump level, and obviously the roughness blend level for uh, PBR. That's it. That's free, out of the box. You can have your own detail map. Just before closing this quick video, I just want to show you the texture itself that we are using. So that's the detail map. And the detail map, you see, contains several channels. We are packing, for instance, the diffuse inside the R channel. We are packing into G the normal information, and we are packing into B the roughness information. OK, that's it. Pretty good, right? I love that feature. And it's a feature you're going to encounter in other engines as well. So we are glad to have it as well. So with all this texture, you're going to create just more detailed environments. Thank you very much. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Have a very good day. Stay safe. Bye, folks.